look of your medical records and understand them as like a biography of your body, right? It's okay. going to tell the story of, you know, who did it, why they did it, when it was done, what they did, and all those sorts of details, the right? The five W's. The five W's. And when you think about your medical records, it's easy to put them sort of on the corner and the kitchen counter, but I really want you to read them, read the comments. You supply this information. You supply the information about your medications, your allergies, as well as your surgeries and your procedures. And it's important that you look at them, number one, for accuracy, mm -hmm. right? Because again, we base our decisions about what we do based on what you provide for us. And if you ever find that there's a discrepancy in what you've told the doctor, bring it up to their attention to say, listen, I don't think this truly reflects what I'm experiencing so they can make some adjustments to it. But it's very important that you look at them also because of insurance. Sure. Insurance bills from your medical records. So you want to make sure it's accurate so you're not getting bills that you don't need. But you make a good point. Be your own advocate. Absolutely. Yeah. On that note, know. let's talk about questions to ask. It never fails. You leave the doctor's office and then you have all of these questions and then you have to call that number, try to leave a message and get a hold of the physician. So while you're there, should you have almost maybe a list of what you want to ask? Bring it before you get yeah, there, right? Yeah. Now, because of the electronic records, you may be getting a copy of your labs, your x-rays before you even get there. Mm. And that can be a little bit concerning and nerve-wracking, right? You're not really sure what sure. the context of this result means. So when you're getting labs ordered, write down on the piece of paper, what will this test tell me? Okay. What will it reveal? What are some of the results that I might anticipate so you're not caught off guard? Okay. You also want to ask about side effects. You want to put down on the piece of paper, will I be able to work? Will I be able to eat? Are there any other side effects I need to be made aware of? Okay. And also about procedures. Can I stave off having this procedure? Can I mm. you know, work on exercise and eating well before needing to actually get the surgery done? Okay. And what are my next steps? All right, sounds good. Doctor, let's just talk about the simple act of finding your medical yes. records because that's that's not always easy. You want to walk us through a couple of ways to do that? Yeah, so most health systems have an online patient portal that will give you access to read-only files. So you can't edit the information, but you can read them. And that's information that you need to have an access code for and a password that you want to protect like you would your bank, your banking information. But having that platform may allow you to do virtual visits as well. You could also request printed copies that may have come along with a fee, okay. but they can give you either a CD or a thumb drive that you can have access to. And you want to get that information periodically as you add new health information. And so once you get all this stuff, let's move over here. How do you keep those records? What do you do with all that information that you're able to ultimately find? Well, it's easy if it's on the phone or the tablet because right. you can carry that with you, and that's accessible anywhere, even if you're not at your own institution. If you have paper copies, carry it around with you, even if you go to the emergency room because they may have information there that's not accessible to your other doctors. And if you have parents or if that's you are caregivers, yeah. you want to request that information because you're going to need it in making decisions about their health and your children. So well. important, doctor. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Great tips. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.